Hi and welcome to ISBI. This is part 2 of the bunk bed building process. If you haven't seen part 1 yet, please watch it first. A link is in the upper right corner or in the description. The last thing I made in part 1 was putting the ladder together. Checking for squareness after the glue has dried. The next step is to make an additional small support post for the bed railing. I cut the post to the proper length and a chamfer on one side. This post will be attached to the bed frame, so I need to make a recess for the board of the bed frame. I cut the recess with the table saw and the Japanese saw. Then I use the drill template to drill the holes for the railing slats. A little bit of sanding and filing and that's it. Then it was time to paint the parts which has to be painted. Just the slatted frame stays without paint. I skip this part because watching me paint all these parts for hours is boring. Here I drill all the needed holes in the supporting slats on which the slats of the slatted frame will sit. Next I use dowels, glue and screws to attach the supporting slats to the boards of the bed frame.
I use dowel centers to mark the points where to drill the holes in the boards. and the same procedure for the longer boards. Other as by the smaller boards you can see here many dowels. On these dowels sit the slats of the slatter frame later. Then it was time to make the slats of the slatter frame. Just cutting them to length, a bit of sanding and drilling holes. Three slats will be screwed on later, just these need countersunk holes. Finally all the parts are done, painted and ready to assemble. Basically I used just one type of fasteners, barrel nuts and long bolts. The barrel nuts will sit in these holes and the long bolts go through the posts in the holes on the side of the boards. So the boards will be pulled against the posts by tightening the bolts. So let's do it! By the way, the slats of the railing are just fixed with two dowels on each side. The stability is achieved only by the bigger boards. Each of these will be fixed with two dowels and two screws on each side.
mount the small support post and the ladder by screwing them to the front frame board. As mentioned earlier, here you can see that just the two slats at the end and the middle slat of the slatted frame are screwed on. The rest of the slats sit just on the owls. Thank you for watching. If you like my videos, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to click the notification bell and stay tuned for future projects. See ya!